and you you ever had some news that you got when you, you see all these other people they got the same news but they may not be as excited as you are for it i feel like that's how i feel right now because this this is crazy the ravens they they designating Jawan james to return to practice Oh my goodness. And let's let's read the report from Mike Garofalo. He said he's on a non-football injury list after tearing his Achilles in the spring. The hope was that they could get some work with him late in the season, at least in practice. Well, here he goes. So, it's not a guarantee. It, it's not a guarantee. It's not. Nothing's a guarantee that he plays. And we said earlier in previous video when they first signed him, anything that they could possibly get out of Jawan James this year, it would be a bonus. Anything that they got will be a bonus. Oh, my goodness. When we talked about how, because the, the offensive line has been a big yikes all year. It's been a big yikes all season long. If they could possibly, possibly get some significant help. And obviously, he has to be healthy if he's going to be practicing. Well, I know some people could say, well, look at Ronnie Stanley. Look at Nick Boyle. They practiced and they weren't healthy. But anyway, I would think that Ravens learned their lesson from those guys and Derek Wolf too. But anyway, um, this is like really exciting news. It really is. And because, because of just the state that the Ravens offensive line is in, we talked about it a lot during this week. Um, how we feel like we're just not sure what they could do at the offensive line, w where they could make an improvement, where they could make an adjustment, what could be a fix for this offensive line. Now, if we can get a quality starter at the tackle position, and, and again, wishful thinking, still, anything that we can get out of him this year would be and should be considered a bonus. But if, oh my goodness, if, what I think has been the biggest problem with the Ravens all year long. If they could get help at the offensive line, oh my goodness. Say, for instance, you put him at right tackle. You move Tyree Phillips to left guard, which was your original plan in the first place. Or if you do Ben Powell or Ben Cleveland, hey, something. Because the offensive line that we have, it just ain't been it. It ain't been it. So I'm just sorry, y'all. I'm just really like uh, envisioning different scenarios and whatnot, possibilities and whatnot. Uh, and and this this news is like, it's 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 really exciting for me, man. Straight up, like I like I'm. It it made me really happy. I feel like my eyes are getting watery because I just the offensive line has just been so bad. It's been bad. It's been bad. Now another thing. Because I know people could be like, well, um, he he hasn't played. Obviously, he hasn't played all year uh, with the Ravens. Um, but this guy, he it's, he's not a free agent. He's not somebody that will be have, having came off the streets. Well, the free agent streets. You know what I mean? He's been there. And again, experience is different than just looking at an iPad all day or looking, going through the playbook. It's different. But to have somebody with NFL experience, he's not a rookie, with NFL experience, with NFL starting experience, and somebody who's been in all your meetings, somebody who understands and knows your play, because they've been studying that playbook. They had the playbook. This is, he's not a new addition to the team. He's been around. Because remember, when Bron Broncos was like, oh, you want to tear your Achilles working out offsite? <laughs> You're done. Cutting you off. Bye, buddy. And Ravens were like, hmm, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ain't no way. You All right, you know what? Let's flip this. Let's flip. Because initially when they signed him, I remember I was like, what? Like, hmm? What? what are they doing? But then we got the breakdown of the deal and how I think it was this year. It's just a $500,000 uh, signing bonus. And that would just pretty much be his rehab year. And again, anything that you would get out of him would be a bonus. And Har Harbaugh, wait a minute, Harbaugh. I think Harbaugh trying to, he trying to like gain some injury trust. He trying to gain some big injury trust. Because y'all know Harbaugh's his resume when it comes to speaking about injuries. Now, remember with Rashad Bateman, he said, hey, Rashad Bateman could be back in September. He returned to practice in September. 
He didn't start playing until October. So Harbaugh was technically right. And he did say with Jawan James, he said, we, we hope to get him back late in the year, maybe around December. He said that. And when he said that, uh, I said, that, that didn't, he ain't playing this year. He ain't playing this year. But the fact that he got designated to return to practice, he's not on the, he's not on the roster yet now. He's not a- activated to the active roster. But he's, wow, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. This could actually, like, wow, man. I, 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 I really can't believe it, man. Because just to think, man, because this uh, is the offensive line. It's been, it's been so bad. And I know I keep saying it over and over, but it's been so bad. And I feel like like that that's not, hasn't been the only issue with the Ravens' offense. But, again, I feel like it's been the biggest, the biggest. Like, with, we know right now Lamar Jackson, he's in a slump. But I feel like that slump, the offensive line definitely contributed to it because throughout the entire year, obviously, Lamar Jackson been running for his life, running for his life, running, 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 all year long. Always somebody back there, except in the Chiefs game. But besides the Chiefs game, always somebody in the backfield, always somebody in his face, always somebody hitting him, sex, all that stuff, all that pressure. And I feel like with him having to do so much physically every single game. Oh, I got to run for my life every single game. I got to run away from this defender. I got to evade this defender. I got to shake off this defender. I got to move every single game. Then I feel like the physical, it affected his mental. So that's been throwing a lot of things off too. But I feel like if there could be some stability with the offensive line, if there could be some stability up front for Lamar, like some stability right there in front of him, then that could go such a long way. Oh my goodness, it could go such a long way. And I, I'm trying not to get overexcited about Jawan James because he, who knows if he'll even play. But um, when, when I think about how this could positively impact Lamar, how it could positively impact the Ravens, how it could positively impact this offense, I can't help but get hyped, man. I can't help. Because this could be so big. This could be so big. <laughs> That's crazy, man. It could be so big. So we'll uh, we'll just wait and see, man. We'll 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 wait and see, and we'll hope that that this guy can play, and that there are obviously no setbacks either. There are no setbacks, um, cause oh man, if he could come in and show off that offensive line, man. Oh, because <laughs> it's been a big yikes, please. Because this is like, it's because Ravens don't have any other options. They don't have any other options. They, like, they cannot do anything else about the offensive line. I mean, you could, you could play musical chairs and whatnot, but that's, that's it. So this would be crazy, man. It would be crazy. And he would obviously, I mean, he hasn't played football all year. So, I mean, that, that would be asking a lot. Of him to just come in and all right, hey, I'm back. I'm ready to block those defensive ends and pass rushes and what that'd be a lot to ask, but you never know. You never know. So hopefully uh Steve Saunders and them boys, they uh they got him right. Cause we've seen a lot of our players uh have it wrong this year. Cause they all hurt. So crazy to uh to actually get good news um as far as an injury. When it comes to the Ravens, especially this year, um, especially even this week, because of course Marlon Humphrey, the Ravens, they they done put him on injury reserve officially, so he is officially done. Um, he's not coming back this year. I've even I've seen some Ravens fans say, "Hey, do we? Uh, is there a chance that we could like bring Marcus Peters?" But no, he Marcus Peters ain't coming back either, man. Not this year. Um, so, but again, it's it's nice to get good news. It's really nice to get good news. Anyway. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Oof. This this could be really nice. We out.